This is our 2012 Honda Odyssey 2.6 EXL with 77,000 miles on it. We bought this brand new, it's been one owner, uh, it's been used as a family van for many years. Our kids play travel ball, and so we've traveled a little bit, but low mileage for such a fine developed vehicle. We converted it in 2021 into our camper van, uh, into the interior cabin. You can see um, it has dual zone heating and cooling, it comes with air conditioning, um, has heated seats, it has um, all the amenities, Bluetooth and satellite radio, radio satellite. Um, it does have the old school CD player, which we love. Um, and it does have a cooling box down here as well that we use when we're traveling sometimes to keep things cool. Um, two power mobile outlets. Uh, yeah, it has the aux connection and the USB connection in the glove box. Um, comes with a sunroof that can be vented or fully open. Let me just show you the odometer reading here. So here's the odometer reading. Um, it's only been maintained at uh, Honda Odyssey and the Erasmus Street. It has brand new tires, it has brand new bike blades. Um, well maintained, you can see all of the records when we um, look at. The Alpacool refrigerator and freezer dual zone. It's, I think, 55 liters, and it could be both a freezer and a refrigerator. We add a little bit more, um, we have a little bit more Reflectix material to the inside as well as the outside to be able to utilize all the insulation we could. When we travel down the road, we um, put a blanket or a towel on top uh, just for stealth mode. This right here on the windows, we have um, Reflectix on one side, like this. And if you want to be stealthy at nighttime, this is black fleece, and you can put it on, you can switch it to the other side so that no one can see inside as well. Inside the conversion. So it, you can see that we have a couch that is in futon mode. And I can bring that down to be in a bed mode. It's nearly a full-size bed, so two people can very comfortably sit here and sleep here. It is hooked in place with a hasp and a carabiner, so that it's not going to go from couch to bed without on purpose. <laughs> um, we have two under storage boxes that make use of everything underneath, and they fit just right under here. I had put um, clothes in one and all the cooking and food in another. That's how I used it. Right here is a screen, which is actually metal, that has an insect, insect screen um, backing on it, and we can put that in the window or take it out, and that's so that we can have some flowing air at nighttime safely. We also have a clip fan that can rotate that will also give us flowing air, and this is actually a very whisper quiet uh, computer fan, and it can be hung up right here and be bringing some fresh air in at night as well. That is very good for airflow. This right here is my kitchen worktop table, and I put two dowels, one on this side and one on this side, and I can hang my bath towels here, because usually there was two of us traveling at once, but very easy to um, to put your towel on here but i also like it because it, it covers everything up that all, it makes it look like it's stealth camping on the seats right here i always keep my jacket on both of these and it has uh, these pocket organizers these shoe organizers as you can see here so it has a lot of spaces for you to organize your items we always used to hang our hats right here on the hat hook um inside here right behind the refrigerator is a tv tray table so that we can take it outside and be cooking outside also what i have here is a toilet seat and what we what we have is a bucket and i'll show you the bucket which is right here and you can line the bucket and put the toilet seat on top and set it right here and if you need to go you can go ahead and go right underneath here underneath both of the seats is a shoebox size organizer just to give you ideas as to how we organize things and i will show you how this is taken down and, and looking into a bed so you just take this glass off and you pull it out this way and the seats hold all the cushions fold down and it's a very tight fit so there's no gaps but this is what the bed looks like um not only do you have the blue stripe on this side but should you want to change the look you can have a green and tan stripe and both of these are material that are uv protected and from outdoor cushions they're made for outdoor cushions so this is a full-size bed right here inside this <laughs> inside this is also a waterproof dacron batting on everything so everything is waterproof okay let me take you to the side and show you what it looks like on the kitchen on the other side. Oh, I'll let you want to see this first. Before we get there, I just thought I'd let you see what the trunk looks like. It is expansive. This bed frame is not going anywhere. It is bolted down right here to the metal body of the car and it's all bolted down here so it's not going anywhere. So this also has been able to be hooked up on both sides so that you can get things out of your trunk as you like. And this is all solid plywood and you can have a bed. Now when it was back in the couch mode, this also is a couch in the trunk area. Now I have screens that will make this whole trunk area into a screened room just by just putting the screens on it and attaching it with magnets. In the trunk area, how we uh, powered up all our electrical items, our computers, our phones, the fan, the water pump, everything that was electrical, we have a solar generator, a Jackery, a thousand watts, which is way more than you need, but that's what we used. And our refrigerator has an extension cord that we plug into here and it runs from the refrigerator up top and it'd be powered by the Jackery. So here is the extension cord for the nine volt and it comes through here and it goes, it, it gets charged up here for the, batter, for the um, refrigerator. 12 volt refrigerator. So this is how, this is another um, a way that you can set up your kitchen item, items. This is the other um, side for the um, bath towel. So I had my dishes, or my dish pans are here. This is my propane butane um, camp stove. This is a five gallon water and you can see the water um, piping. And right here is uh, a way to have water disbursement. You push a button 
and water comes out, you can have it indoors. And also I have a long enough cord that you can take it and bring it out here and wash up muddy feet or anything like that. I have food grade buckets here. There's three of them. In them, I usually kept all my cooking and um, beer for outside, um, outside cooking. And I would also take one of these buckets and fill it with water. And I would be able to take a shower. I would take that bucket of water and then have a bucket immersion heater. And then I would drop in my camp shower. It has a battery, a little battery supplied, also charged up by the Jackery. And I could have a handheld um, shower that I can also wash off the dog, wash off my feet, or wash my hair, or take a shower with this. Now, I could usually do this outside, but should I want some more privacy, I do have a green elephant utility tent, and it is extra tall and extra um, large inside. So I have plenty of privacy if I wanted to go to the bathroom or take a shower, I could use this tent. Also inside um, is an extra cabin filter. We also have a van cover that goes with this van. And along with all the um, blackout covers that we have, we also have insect screens for the sunroof, the side door, and the trunk if you wanted to have a whole insect um, proof sort of evening to have an extra room that way. If you would like to have the Honda Odyssey minivan put back into eight passenger seating, we have all the seating and all the bits and pieces, all the console, everything ready for you to convert it back into a minivan. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.